Hello and welcome to Scale War Machines. Here's what we'll be looking at this time. At Scale War Machines, we bring you reports from some of the best tank museums around the world. So let's take a quick look at another must-see museum. This weekend, a very special event will be held at Overloon in the Netherlands. A whole host of rare military vehicles will congregate there for the annual Militrax Military Vehicle Show. We were lucky enough to be invited to cover the event last year, and here's our report. The Overloon War Museum is an excellent venue, located on the site of a World War II tank battle in the Eastern Netherlands. This is a part of the world that's rich in history, and was the scene of the Operation Market Garden airborne landings. Nestled in a scenic 14 hectare forest setting known as Liberty Park is the museum complex. If you're anywhere in the vicinity, this is a spot that's well worth dropping by. Inside the museum is a vast and interesting collection of vehicles and exhibits, spread over several large rooms. One of the main standout features is the range of numerous engineering and logistical vehicles which are dotted over the site. You can easily spend hours wandering through the collection and taking in the dioramas. It's especially useful if you want to research some of the rarer allied hardware and vehicles. Next door is the Dutch National War and Resistance Museum. This is a moving tribute to the nation's secret armies, but also a reminder of the horror of the Holocaust and occupation. The museums alone are worth a visit, but every year in mid-May, a meeting takes place that's truly special. Militrax is the chance for rare historic vehicles to be put through their paces, to the delight of the crowds. Machines from around Europe make their way to Militrax, creating a unique spectacle. The emphasis is on German vehicles from the Second World War, especially tracked vehicles and half-tracks. Last year saw all sorts of spectacular machines making their way around the wooded track, from smaller half-tracks to mid-sized tractors and the giant FAMO. There's smaller machines too, from Kettenkrads to wheeled runabouts like the Kubelwagen and Schwimmwagen. That's not all though. The forest reverberates to the sound of all sorts of trucks and military hardware. The best bit of all, and what makes Militrax unique, is that your ticket enables you to see all these vehicles in action over the weekend. Even better, you can pay for a ride in an authentic veteran vehicle of your choosing. Prices for the rarer vehicles are higher and the queues are longer, but the museum staff must be praised for making this such a dynamic and interactive day out. A drive around the track allows you to really experience living history. It's rare to be able to get up so close and personal to historic machinery. Here's the museum's director to tell us a bit more about what you can expect. We present mainly German Wehrmacht vehicles, uh, so uh, vehicles of the Second World War uh, used by the German troops all over Europe. It's not only showing these cars but also the thrill of riding with them uh, during the day. The biggest fun is to, to ride with those. We, we do have an 18-tonner vehicle. I never saw that in the Netherlands ever before. It's probably the first time after the war that we have it now. We try to uh, get new vehicles or add other vehicles to it to make it and to keep it interesting uh, for the visitors of the show. Uh, Militrex is a great event for parents, for grandparents and for the kids as well. And here's some of the types of vehicles you'll see at Militrex. There's no doubt, the event draws some of the best military vehicles from all across the continent. So if you fancy combining a bit of military vehicle spotting, some history and a European holiday, why not head to Militrax this weekend, or visit the amazing museum all year round. It's highly recommended. Don't forget to download more premium model making videos from ScaleWarMachines.com There's 
more videos on the website and you can check out our Facebook, Google Plus and Twitter communities. Bye for now.